Towards the Pacific, 100 kilometers. The road to Arriaga in the south, the road goes through the pine woods as it climbs the outer slopes of Chiapas Sierra Madre. The La Sepultura Nature Trail is also a most fascinating ecological reserve where flora and fauna of the Pacific coast meet their neighbors from the wooded highlands. This is a place where species native to distinct ecological environments are found living together in an astonishing range of habitats in which conditions due to height and climate change with each step we take. Lookout points, canyons, waterfalls, streams and woods of all kinds, from the high evergreen forests to the deciduous forests of the lowlands, are easily accessible. It is a new reserve which does not yet boast a well-developed infrastructure. However, it is possible to camp in places like La Providencia, Monte Bonito and La Palmita. The local people will cheerfully give you permission and offer their services as guides. At Ariaga, the recently built Pacific Coast Auto Route will take you as far as Tapachula in the Guatemalan frontier. Four kilometers from Tonala, returning to Puerto Arista, its beaches, typical palapas, and other restaurants where you can enjoy delicious dishes of shellfish au naturel or with garlic, and also a well-earned rest. In Boca del Cielo, aptly named Heaven's Gate, boat rides on the Grand Canal will take you to explore the pampas, lagoons, and estuaries where fishermen, pelicans, egrets, and migrating birds live together in harmony. For those who are looking for more unusual adventures and encounters, the La Encruciada Ecological Reserve is the very place. In a Capitagua, 28 kilometers from Mapastepec, which will be the starting point of a later journey. Take the dirt road as far as the Las Grazas landing stage, where you can book a tourist trip on boats which take up to 20 passengers. In the La Concepcion campsite, you will find camping areas, guides, dormitories, kitchens, restrooms, and radio. The mangrove thickets are the most important on the American Pacific coast. As for the Zapotino woods, they are unique of their kind in extent. Papales and Tulares, together with the subperennial median forest vegetation of the islands, constitute an extraordinary ecosystem. Pazpec, La Islona, Isla Sola, Quaquespala, that is, Place of the Caymans, Tahiti, Solo II, are all islands which provide a refuge for native species in danger of extinction. Jaguars, spider monkeys, and the peje lagarto. In the mouth of the Wixala River, El Encuentro is the area of Zapotanales, home of the Pajaro Cantil, the otter and the river crocodile. The Chantuto and Los Cerretos Lagoons preserve shells dating from the dawn of human activity on the continent. When the hunter-gatherers of the late Stone Age first started to live in groups, beginning in temporary seasonal camps, the fishermen of today continue the old ways. Towards the Sierra, let us return to Mapastepec, this time to begin a tour which will take us to El Triunfo. 12 kilometers of dirt road as far as the Tres de Mayo, common and then, on Shanks Pony, along a bridle path to the summit at more than 2,000 meters, and after 12 hours walking. 
It is a good idea to spend the night in Cañada Onda at an altitude of about 1,200 meters. The transitional woods of this area shelter a remarkable native flora and fauna. The black-winged tanager and the Nyakata Bothrops ornatus are so rare that they were only rediscovered in 1986. Vegetation changes as we ascend, to such an extent that, in the Biosphere Reserve, 10 of the 19 types of vegetation found in Chiapas have been recorded. It is possibly the richest and most beautiful reserve in Mexico. Deep ravines and high mountain ranges, wreathed in thick cloud all year round. Lichens and mosses, acting as a sponge holding water, a magic source of life itself. On sunny days, the canopy of the giant trees, more than 55 meters high, is a confusion of fleeting colors and bird song. Yes, this borderland forest is a world apart, a world inhabited by wonderful beings, like the peacock, the Quetzal, once to the ancient Mayas, the ambassador of the sun, legendary creatures who have survived their own legends. We have come to Tapachula, the pearl of the Soconosca, and almost at the end of our fantastic expedition, we have covered more than 400 kilometers of asphalt road, not to mention our struggles on dirt roads, along cart tracks, and along footpaths. Now we are challenged by the impressive height, 4,086 meters, of the Tacana volcano. The paved road which leads us to Union Juarez, 40 kilometers from Tapachula, skirts the very interesting archaeological site of Izapa. Its stones, stelae, sculptures and thrones, its pyramids constructed from boulders, are a moving testimony to a civilization which flourished at the dawn of our times. From Union Juarez, we follow bridleways and footpaths to reach the roof of Chiapas and Guatemala. We shall rediscover the cloud forest and its inhabitants. The volcano's turbulent past is written in this accumulation of craters heaped one upon the other in a monumental effort to reach the stars. Chiapas is an infinite living cell which suffers, weeps and bleeds an invisible universe which throbs, laughs, and sings. One day, long ago, Chiapas, serene and calm and clear, must have sprung from the foam-wracked sea, or from the infinite womb of dawn. She appeared unheeded, like rain murmuring prayers among leaves, light as a breeze, tender as a sigh. But she rose as deep, as real, as true, and as eternal, as sorrow, forever scattering her tragic seed over the earth. Since then, Chiapas is in the cosmos, like a flower blowing in the wind.